Yo, what's good? It's your boy Jay Ellis. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in Queens kicking it with PileTV.net. Midwest stand up. So single, single with Jim Jones. It's crazy. It's called speeding on them. It's, it's in every market right now. Just call and request it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it ain't playing in your city, call and request it. It will be in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Shooting a video real soon. You know, shout out Capo. You know what I mean? Jim Jones, the whole dip set. You know what I'm saying? Midwest, man. What's up? It's cracking. All right, so how'd you uh, get up with Jones to do that song? Mita. My A&R Mita. You know, she been working with them for years, you know what I mean? So she hooked it up, you know what I mean? Went to the studio, laid it down. He liked the joint, so he started writing, you know what I mean? And from there, the rest is history, you know what I'm saying? All right, so you say you're from Indiana. Like, how, how is the uh, the rap scene out there? Is there a lot of... There are a lot of artists. It's a out lot of there. talent out there, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot of outlets. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we only have, you know, we only got one radio station. The the they really don't support, you know, underground up and coming music like other cities do. Mm -hmm. You know, like Atlanta, a dude from Decatur, or a dude from East Point can come out the crib, give it to the right DJ, and next thing you know, it'll be on the radio in Atlanta. It'll be spinning at the clubs. It ain't like that in Indiana, man. It's kind of. You know, the outlets, bro, it's hard. You got to leave. You so gotta I, get out. So how do you grind? How do you grind your music then? I get out, man. You know, I get out. I go to different cities. L.A., Seattle, you know, Atlanta, New York, Chicago. I try to just be somewhere everywhere, man, so I can spread my own word. You know what I mean? Myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? My own music. All right, so, you know, Indiana, they have their own, like, fashion sense and everything. So, like, what, what did your people in Indiana say about Lil Wayne's jeggings? <laughs> Little Wayne's what? <laughs> the jeggings. The, that's what they the call them? Yeah, they, it's like jeans and leggings. <laughs> jeggings. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that's not it. That's not it. I mean, you know, no disrespect to nobody, man, but I mean, I guess if you, you know, if you got the body like a 10 year old boy, you can wear what you want, but we grown men, you know what I'm saying? We don't do that. Uh, uh, but man. you know, no disrespect to nothing, man. It's just what it is, man. Like, I don't know nobody that'll rock that, you know what I mean? But, you know, more power to you, guys. <laughs> All right, so what else can we expect from uh, from you coming up? Working on a new mixtape. I got a mixtape out right now with DJ Don Cannon called mm -hmm. Unleashed. That's killing the streets. It's everywhere in the Midwest right now. It's just going crazy. You can get it on that piff. Um, just go check it out. It's crazy. Got a lot of got a lot of good things on there. You know what I mean? But I'm working on a new mixtape. I'm gonna keep the title under wraps because a lot of thirsty rappers out there, you know, hungry for ideas. So but when you see it, you gonna know what it is. It's crazy. All right, so is there like any other artists from Indiana that that we should know about? That we should look out for. Yeah, for man. You? I mean, it's a lot of up and coming cats in Indiana. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie uh, Freddie Gibbs. You know what I mean? He doing his thing with CTE right now. Uh -huh. You know, we just did a show with Jeezy. Shut that down. Fred didn't make that show, but I know he been touring right now with Jeezy. So shout out Fred, Rick Jill. You know what I mean? Shout out. Everybody in South Bend, man. Too many people to name, you know what I mean? Shout out everybody in Naptown, Fort Wayne, Gary, you know what I mean? Just the crib. All right, so it's Pal TV. You know we love the ladies. So, uh, <laughs> like, between between the wardrobe malfunctions, who you think had the best <laughs> wardrobe malfunction? <laughs> Nicki Minaj, Kelly Rowland, or Taylor Swift? <laughs> I didn't know what happened with Taylor. Her dress blew up like she was on stage and her dress just blew up. You seen like drawers. Oh yeah? That's a malfunction? Yes, that's a that's a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> I ain't mad at that though. You know what I mean? You can't be mad at that. But uh I don't know. I think Nicki Minaj, you know, she kinda do a little different thing right now. She's doing something different, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you seen her on Good Morning America when when she was on stage and the bra fell off? Nah, I ain't see it, bro. Ah, oh, man. You got yeah, you got to go world star and look at that, bro. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. It's <laughs> crazy. I'm going to check it out. Ah, uh, man. So, how, what, how else could we uh, get a hold of your music, your Twitter, Facebook, all that shit? At J Ellis, J A E E L L I S. Facebook.com slash it's J Ellis or J Ellis.com. Get at me any of those ways, man. I'll hit you right back. Booking shows, all that. Coming to shut it all down, you know what I mean? Shout out to the homie Jay. I'm out here in New York. We got this Green Acres Mall. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's a lot of young things walking in and out. You know what I mean? Jay Batman, where you at? We got to get out here. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, man.